The government will rest on his shoulders. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace. I want to read that again. I want to make sure you hear that. There will be no end. And it does not say there will be no end to the government. It says what? There will be no end to the increase of his government and peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. I want to begin the message by assuring you biblically that even though things are getting really, really messy in the world, that at the same time, the kingdom of God will continue to advance. And I'm saying that because I'm also going to begin this message by saying to you, things are going to get worse before they get better. The earth is in t turmoil. And uh, America is in turmoil. My prophetic uh, sense and what I believe God has shown me in other ways throughout the years has not changed uh, at all. America and the earth is going to receive the greatest revival in history. And America is going to be saved. A great revival is coming to restore this nation to our destiny, our purpose. Millions of people coming to Jesus. And yet, the shaking will intensify. And evil will continue to um, increase. These things, as my understanding of Scripture is that uh, this is what I believe both evil and the kingdom of God and the grace of God will both simultaneously increase. And where evil abounds, I believe grace will much more abound. So while I, <clears throat> while I believe there is more course correction coming to this nation, through some of the shaking and the hard times that are really literally, so it's a reaping, but it's, some of it's not even a reaping from our sin, it's just stupidity, it's just, and some of it I have said recently is it's, it's, it's intentional. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the things happening that are hurting our nation, I believe are intentional. Yeah. But, I believe that will continue, uh, and I believe it's what God is going to use to help fuel the awakening. Yeah. I'm trying to be careful how I say all this because I've not rehearsed it. it. Only in my mind as I think about it. I've never said it or written this down, but I feel like... America has um, refused to awaken and turn after having been given several warnings and alerts. And some people said, you know what, there were 9 uh, 11 was a wake up call, but we rolled over and went back to sleep. So I think God has given this nation, including the church, opportunities to respond to his 
mercy, his grace, his outpouring, and move into the restoration that we need. But I believe we have really had a deaf ear to that. And that this time around, that God is going to make sure we wake up. So I think the next two years are going to be pretty tumultuous. Clay and I were talking last night. I think the um, summer is going to get really, really rough. As soon as this Roe versus Wade, if, if Roe is overturned, and I believe it will be, the violence will be intense in our nation. And so, we have to make sure that we, we are not distracted by what the enemy does. And the reason I started with this passage is because in the midst of all of this, sometimes when it looks like this country is just going to hell and a handbasket and nothing can stop it. Well, that's not true. And when it looks like things get out of control, so often... God is just sitting back waiting for the opportunity and for that to do what it needs to do so that he can then move in and do what he needs to do. And that's where I think we are. I think over the next few months, the revival that is, has begun uh, in this nation and elsewhere will intensify. I think you're going to hear a lot of things about miracles and conversion, salvations begin to take place over the next, throughout the remainder of this year, and then onward. But I think at the same time, a lot of rough uh, things from the enemy will be thrown at us. And again, the praying church, the ecclesia, is going to need to stay very focused. Very focused. Because God will continue to use what we are doing to further his purposes. And I tell you, no matter what the enemy tries to do through violence, through unrighteous rulings, laws, opposition, persecution, none of that, none of that dictates to God what he can do. He is going to turn up the power of Holy Spirit. He is going to continue to awaken the church. He is awakening people in this nation that are not believers. Yes. And so he's going to continue this. And, and we can be assured that, that he will bring this revival that he has spoken of. And he's not finished with America. He is going to turn this nation it's going to be interesting to see how it all happens. But it is going to happen. And again, this evil in the earth that is rising up now will not overpower or gain ascendancy over the increasing kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ.